I'm Melissa and today's another installment of Insoid a little white and if you're new to my channel and don't know what IAW as I affectionately call it is that's where you ask me questions that could be about anything you can think of as long as it's respectful and I'll answer in the next installment and please guys if you want the series to continue please 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 ask questions if they can be silly weird serious funny whatever but Please, I love this series. I'd love for it to continue, but that's totally up to you guys if you want it to continue. If you want it to continue, please leave questions in the comment box down below. I don't have that many questions for this installment, but let's go ahead and get to answering them. The first question is from Faye, my friend, and she asks, If you could choose to live within the world of a video game, which would it be and why? I totally want to live in the Mass Effect universe because there's so many different planets, so many different species, and it's just so diverse and there's just so many cool places you can go. You could have the Normandy if you want to. That's my favorite Mass Effect ship. I love the Normandy. You can go to the Citadel and experience that whole lifestyle and go to all the different shops and clubs. You could go to a totally desolate planet and explore if you wanted to. It's just such a fascinating universe full of lore and it's just so amazing and I just want to spend forever in that universe. Oblivion Kasami has a few questions and they ask, are you excited for the upcoming Halloween movie? Yes. From the trailers it looks really good. I really love the fact that they brought Jamie Lee Curtis back. John Carpenter is an executive producing this. David Gordon Green has really proved himself to be a strong director so I have faith in him. And it looks really good from the trailer, so I have very high hopes for this. Please don't let me down, Halloween gods. Are you going to get Resident Evil 2 Remake? Yes, this is one of my most anticipated games from E3 2018. When they first showed this, at first I was like, why is this weird game where you play as a mouse? But then I saw Leon Kennedy and the stars badge on his shoulder, and I'm like, oh my god, are they going to announce Resident Evil 2 Remake? And they did, and I flipped. And it looks so good. I never got to play it when I was younger. I have heard it's one of the best Resident Evil games in the series and I just want to experience it. So yes, I am definitely going to play it when it comes out. Especially because they said they've improved the gameplay and obviously the graphics and I just want to experience it and it just, ah, uh, it looks so good! Have you played Detroit Become Human yet? I actually have. I loved it. It's incredible. There are so many amazing messages. All the different choices you can make. It's just so incredible. I have loved all of Quantic Dreams games so far. It's a really, really cool game. And also, by the way, I'm sorry if the lighting is like, wee, because the outside light is just... It has a mind of its own today. I'm sorry. But Detroit Become Human was fantastic. I loved it. It's not going to be for everyone but I adored it and I really want to play it again. Have you ever seen any of the old school Christopher Lee Dracula movies? I remember watching a couple when I was younger, but it's been so long that I need to rewatch them and refresh my memory because Christopher Lee, a lot of people say he's the best Dracula out there. And I remember as a young kid being terrified, but also fascinated at the same time by these movies. But I can't remember much about them besides that. So I do need to rewatch them, but I have seen a couple that was many, many moons ago. And the last set of questions are from Mr. Toon, and they ask, Do you have any tattoos? I have three. My first tattoo is to stay strong, which it's not the best looking tattoo, to be honest. I was 20. I didn't know better, okay? But, you know, it's a good message, and I went with a friend and got it, and, you know, I'm gonna keep it. I'm not gonna cover it up or anything. At least right now, I could change my mind years later. I have one on my foot, which, again, was done by the same artist, and I'm not crazy about it, to be honest. But it's an eighth note tattoo, which I do plan to have that one covered up sometime in the future. And lastly, my favorite tattoo is this. It's Je suis prêt, which is actually old French. You don't spell prêt like this anymore. But this is from Outlander, and it means I am ready in old French. And I just loved it because people aren't going to know what this means unless, one, they know French, especially old French. Or two, they've read the Outlander novels and or watched the show. So, it's a nice little fandom tattoo, and also I love the French language, so it's my favorite. It's very well done, and it's delicate. It was my most painful tattoo, but I love it, and the artist did such a great job with this. It was a different artist, by the way. <laughs> What's your favorite kind of pizza? I either eat pepperoni and green pepper, or if I'm staying with my boyfriend. You guys are sick of hearing about the boyfriend by now. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. I just, I gush about him a lot. I'll eat pepperoni and pineapple pizza 
which I know a lot of you are going, oh my gosh, pineapple on pizza, no, mortal sin. But you know, it's actually pretty good. And I'm a picky eater, so for me to say something's pretty good, that's a big, you know, a achievement? Proclamation? Whatever you want to use? But you know, I like it. So I, I either eat pepperoni with green pepper or pepperoni with pineapple. I know, I'm going super crazy with the toppings here, but those are my go-tos. And lastly, cats or dogs? Obviously cats. I have my own little fur baby Sookie, and then I dote on my uncle's cat. My cousin just got a brand new six week old kitten who is so adorable and oh my god! But cats, definitely. They're just like me personality wise. They're easier to take care of than dogs. I'm actually a little bit afraid of small dogs to be honest. Because as a child, when I was about three years old, I was bitten by a chihuahua. So dogs that are very yappy and nippy kind of scare me, not as much as they used to. So I do I do like big dogs and I do like some small dogs. So don't think I'm like bashing small dogs. It's just I have this ingrained fear in me to this day because obviously I remember being bitten. So I'm much more of a cat person. I've never had a bad experience with a cat. And again, they have the same personality as I do. We get along very well. So those were all the questions that were asked for this installment. So if you'd like to see this continue, please leave questions down below. I would love to answer them. If you like this video, leave a like. Share the video if you liked it because that helps my channel grow. If you're not subscribed already but you like what you see and heard, hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell so you're always alerted whenever I upload a new video. And if you'd like to follow me on social media sites, those are all listed down below in the description box. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Peace and kisses. Bye.